steps for me to pull out is the belt. Okay. I'm going to push him away. I'm going to pull myself up. With the belt, you're controlling his hips. And I'm going to feed the belt the same way I would on this lapel. I can grab the belt. I can control his hips. I can even pull out his lapel for later. But I don't need it without the belt. In all honesty, it works even better. So, I'll lean back and I'm going to tilt to the left. Okay, and I'm gonna reach and I'm gonna grab the belt while my right foot goes past this hip line here. I stretch him out right here and I start crawling up behind him. Okay, and I start basically sweeping him here. Potential S mount or S worm. Okay, S worm is because you get to the S mount with the worm. Look, look how nice that is. He can't even untie. By the time he unties it, you grab it again. You go back to it, okay? So, typically what happens here? I need to create tension here. They're gonna wanna turn it into here. Yeah, right there, okay? So I want, what I wanna do is like the daily heave, I wanna split his stance. And I'm gonna sit up while creating tension. So push, and feed it here, okay? Whether he's standing or he goes down on one knee, you stay standing, he'll still, Recompose and face me here, okay? What I want to do is I want to reach back here and grab the belt right here. I'm going to pull and extend my leg, yes. So I can come up. All right, here I'm just hooking his leg here. And I'm going through to an S1. So a couple things happen from this position here that you have to realize when you're doing lapel anything like you're driving a manual transmission car here okay but it's a one-legged bent because what I want you guys to understand is when this happens here as you sit here oftentimes you're gonna push your foot off yes you hook here and I'm just gonna be here okay because here's the beautiful thing as long as this is bent and as long as you have this tight he's not gonna push your knee past this hip line push it yeah, cause it's all pushing into the belt. So now all you're gonna be doing here is annoying the shit out of him by lifting him here, okay? Now, my objective is to sit here to block this foot, maybe bring him down right here, and you go into a three-quarter mount. Right here, maybe I dropped it. I need to tighten this, like real tight. So what I want to do is, I ultimately want to do this. I want to catch this foot right here, okay? From here, I want to keep lifting him up. Catch this foot, oh, that's the right here. Okay, and now you have the saddle. What do you get half the clover, toe hold, clover, ankle lock, you're under the saddle. From the bottom, not from the top. But first, you've got to get into the actual warm guard or belt warm. So we're here, I'm pulling a push, feed it, and my foot stay on this hip. This is just regular warm. As I feed it by reaching, this right here will not work. You have to reach for it and tighten it. And then my right foot goes past. John, you see how my right foot is hooking his hip, okay? As I fall to my left, I block this right here. This would be my first option this is a series of things happen and it's like I'm kicking him over my bottom leg with my right leg and I'm turning away at the same time I'm dragging myself back here I'm just basically doing this I keep this tight and I kind of go belly down so I can push my foot to the mat without letting him 
bring his right knee through because then I'll wind up in a single leg X. I don't want that. I work too hard to get here. And I have to let go of the belt, otherwise my ankle is not going to be able to go. Now I have him either. I can mount him or let's mount him and go for that for attacks or whatnot. So this is going to be your first option, which is one guard belt one. Look, we're here, deadly either. Look, same thing. Except here, I'm just lapel. I'm at the lapel, same thing. Here, set it right there. If he goes down on the knee, I block his knee. My knee, very important, has to be above his knee. If my knee is below, then he's going to start doing that right there, which is when I would hook it. Okay? Now he cannot push my knee past his hip line because the lapel is in the way. But I can always move it back. I'm um, up above his hip line here. So here I'm just going to take him over this way here. Kick that leg through. Push, push, push. Now here I have to let go because the lapel itself is restricting me from actually moving forward. Period. So here, I go here, here, and then you have an S now, S1. Okay? So first, I just want you guys to get to the worm. The worm is when you tilt to the left side. Worm guard consists of squid, lapel lasso, ring worm. Reverse delta worm would be on the right side here. This is reverse delta worm on the right side. This from here. I can just need to do a whole bunch of stuff, but that's on the right side. Worm is when you fall to the left. So you're gonna now, as you feed, fall to the left. Over the belt. That's nice. One, two. See how I reach for it? If he falls, I block his back leg. But I gotta reach with my hand and tighten this, like really super tight. This right here will not work. It's a loose worm, sloppy worm and sloppy worm doesn't work. It'll, it'll mess you up. So here, I reach all the way through there, and I pull it, and I lock it right here, because then it makes it even harder for him to bring his knee, yeah, or to push my knee down. So here, okay, I'm gonna block his back leg, scissor sweep him. If he's still standing, stand up. As I fall, I go back, okay? And I'm pulling him into me, so I can kick him over with my right leg like a scissor sweep. But as you do that, you're gonna pull this into your thigh and you're just gonna go kind of belly down right here. And then you're just gonna push yourself back on here. So whether you get an S worm, meaning S mouth, or you just get a mouth, it doesn't matter. Does that make sense? So let's start off with the belt one. One, two, three. Now, the, the objective of the partner, you cannot just flop over and just fall over like you die. You have to do what you would do, which is probably everything you can to stay up and not get swept. Okay, so that means hand walking, hand stand, but you don't just go here and you don't go like, like you collapse. Yes, good. Now get on your elbow. Yes. 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 Yes.